Louis Leakey sent me to Gombe because he believed that an understanding of chimpanzees in the wild would help him to better guess how our Stone Age ancestors may have behaved. It had long been thought that we were the only creatures on Earth that used and made tools. Man the toolmaker is how we were defined. And here was David Greybeard using a tool. It was hard for me to believe what I'd seen. A few days later, I watched Spellbound as chimps set off to a termite mound, picked a small leafy twig, then stripped it of its leaves. That was object modification, the crude beginning of tool making. It had never been seen before. When I telegrammed the news to Louis Leakey, he responded that we must now redefine man or accept chimpanzees as human. My observations at Gombe would challenge human uniqueness. And whenever that happens, there is always a violent uproar. There were some who would try to discredit my observations because I was a young, untrained girl and should therefore be disregarded. The result of it all, however, was that Lewis was able to obtain a grant from the National Geographic Society to continue my study. In addition, they would be sending out a photographer to document the chimpanzees. Um.